Hello. In this video, we're going to focus on setting up your Data Studio account and how to link all the data sources appropriately so that it's easy then to apply various report templates to your account and just get the data. So, first, you're going to want to go to datastudio.google.com or just click on the link and sign up for a free Data Studio account. Now, if you have an account, then you'll see a whole lot of different data sources and reports and so forth. So what we don't want to have are a lot of things called untitled report or if we go to our data sources it's common to have a lot of data sources that are just called Google Ads, Google Ads, Google Ads, AdWords and then it's very difficult to figure out what is what. So to set this up properly we're going to walk through how to set up Google Ads, MCC's, Google Analytics, Bing Ads, Twitter and more so that it's easy to stay organized with Data Studio. So first we want to go to our data sources. We want to scroll down to the corner and click the plus button to add a new data source. So if we're adding Google Ads, we then select that particular connector and we'll see a list of either our accounts or all of our MCCs. We can go and just we can then just search for what account we want to set up. So in this case, we'll just set up at Alice's account. Now, at the top here, by default, it's Untitled Data Source, and this would become just called Google Ads. So we can rename it right here at Alice's-Google Ads or Google Ads-Analysis and click the Connect button. Now, if we go back to Data Studio, and data sources. We'll see we connected this. If you connected it and forgot to rename it, go to the three dots, click on those, and rename it. And so that way you can rename it then something that you know exactly what that data source is for. So Google Ads is very simple to set up. So next, let's look at Google Analytics. So we go back to the plus button, we click the plus button, we scroll to Google Analytics, select it, choose your analytics account. Now with these, the way they're often named are just all website data, whatever happens to be the name of that GA profile. So if we connect this and we go back to Data Studio or Sources, we're going to see something that's called all website data. And that's why we want to rename these to be analysis and this is GA. So then next, if we've got our Google Ads and our Google Analytics, if you're an agency, then you want My Client Center Reports. So go back to our plus button, we click our plus button, we go back to Google Ads, and instead of going under All Accounts, we want to move to Manager Accounts. Now these are a touch tricky because the currency matters. So for instance, in US dollars, we have 42 accounts we could select. If we switch this to be Australian dollars, now only one's available. If we switch over to uh, Danish, now we only have one account. So for your My Client Centers, when you look at the top level report, because currency is included, you'll need to make usually one MCC set for each currency. So again, we could say this is our US dollars, so this is our MCC US dollar, and go ahead and connect that. And now under our data sources, we'll have our MCC USD. So those are the straightforward data connectors because there's, they're Google data that's easy to add to Google Data Studio. When you want to connect other sources, Bing ads, Twitter, Facebook, so forth, then you'll often use a third-party connector. So if we click on the plus button to go back to our data sources, one of the best connectors is Supermetrics. So if we search for Supermetrics, we'll see one called Add Data plus Google Analytics. What's happening is Supermetrics will pull your ad data from, say, Bing or Twitter or LinkedIn, whatnot, through Google Analytics into Data Studio to make reports. So we'll select this, and I've already authorized this. If you have not used a connector before, then you have to authorize Data Studio, and you have to authorize Supermetrics. Then you'll have the ability to add 
uh, Bing Ads, Twitter, so forth. So I've already added this, so I could just say this is my Bing Ads one. I could rename this now. This is Bing Ads at Alice's, and I'm done. Now, if there's something I haven't connected yet, right, then I could go ahead and click on this link, and I'll see a list of all the possible authorizations which we could go ahead and add to our Supermetrics. So then we would save this one, and then we go ahead and click on our, again, our data sources, go back to our Supermetrics connector, and then maybe on the next one, we just want to add our Twitter data. So then we can make a Twitter account, then we can rename it at Alice's-Twitter, and go ahead and, again, click the Connect button and connect it. So we could repeat this step for, for Facebook, every single Google Ads account you're working with, all your different Google Analytics accounts, but by default, these are not named very well. So by creating your data sources, whether it's the My Client Center, which currency matters, your Google Ads account, your Bing Ads account, your Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, etc., you can now have all your data sources available. So in our next video, we're going to look at how to apply the reports that are pre-created for you into Data Studio. So by first setting up your environment and having a good naming convention to find all your different data sources is essential to making the rest of Data Studio reporting much easier for you.